Hi, welcome. So I know I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but this is going to be a store review for In Stock Trades. And what I have here is an order that took over a month to get to me and it's not even complete, but I'll get more into that at the end where I go over the website and my thoughts about the shipping, the service, etc. But this first part will just be a haul, so let's see what I got. Yes, the infamous amazing packaging. This is why I didn't really mind waiting that long because I knew it would be packaged well. But like I said before, this is not my complete order. And it looks like they have a notice here for me. So it says, this item is currently unavailable. We'll ship it as soon as possible. There will be no shipping charge at the second shipment. Oh, and if I don't want to wait that long, I can refund it. That's kind of nice, but I do want that volume. So I'll just wait, I guess. Okay, so first I got volumes 9 and 10 of Silver Spoon. I'm just slowly picking these up one by one until I get to the end, which is 15. And of course these look like they're in perfect condition. Looks like one of the volumes is a little yellow, but that's okay. And then I feel like I'm the last person on the planet to get this with volume 4 of Spy Family. I love Spy Family. I'm excited to keep on reading with this. And then I got volume 15 of Dr. Stone. I think I already have volume 16, so I was waiting for this one to come in as well. And then volume 1 of Kimi ni Todoke. Yes, this is a shoujo series that I've been wanting to start. I watched a little bit of the anime and it was really wholesome and really cute. So I think I've ordered a lot of other volumes from here as well. So I don't know when I'll start reading this, but at least I have volume 1 now. And this one was much cheaper for some reason. It was only like $6, so I don't see any damage or anything. So that's nice. And yeah, that's all I got for now. I actually placed like two other orders from this store because their prices are so good. And you get free shipping if you buy $50 or more. So it's like really tempting and... Even though it did take a really long time for this to ship, I think it was still worth it. So now I'll pop over to the website and explain more about like how to search for stuff on there and the shipping process. Okay, so here is the front page of In Stock Trades. And as you can see, they mostly sell comics, but to search for manga, all you gotta do is search up here. And I'm just going to use blue period as an example. And as you can see, the results kind of pop up a bunch of different things that have blue in the title so I found that it's easier to search if you go to this advanced search and then type in blue period in the title and you'll only get the manga so as you can see they only have volume 2 so that means okay they don't have volume 1 in stock which is what I thought as well but as you can see from my order something that I ordered from here was not in stock when I ordered it so I'm not sure why some of the volumes are on here are on here and some are not but let's take a look at my order and I'll run through kind of what happened with that so here was my order that I got in this haul everything shipped except my um, wishy petal volume 12 and as you can see they have these little icons that say shipped waiting to process or picked and scanned is the other one so I did end up making two more orders because as you can see down here shipping was free so shipping is free when you buy $50 or more and the prices are pretty comparable to right stuff. They're cheaper but you also have to pay tax and on right stuff you don't have to pay tax in my experience so it kind of evens out but I'm more enticed to buy from InStock Trades because you only need to buy $50 worth of stuff to get the free shipping. Yeah let's look at one of my other orders. I didn't know this was shipped actually but okay cool so they shipped this order except for looks like Silver Spoon Volume 12. This is my most recent order, but as you can see, this one says picked and scanned for all of them except a couple. And yesterday I actually got an email from them saying that Volume 11 of My Love Story is on back order. So they offered me the opportunity to either cancel it or get it replaced with something of the same value. And this was really odd to me because I ordered this maybe like a week ago, but they never sent me any email about that Yamushi Petal Volume 12 or like it looks like they didn't ship my Silver Spoon Volume 12. Those I never got an email or anything. I just got that slip in the package from In Stock Trades. So I'm curious why this time they emailed me like in a really timely manner. They didn't string along the package for over a month. Well, I mean, it's not shipped yet, but you know what I mean? Like I can cancel this and order Volume 11 from Amazon like right now if I want to. So yeah, that was just kind of the weirdest experience I had with this website. Um, my friend Julie actually had the same issue. So she emailed In Stock Trades and they said that the volumes that say waiting to process means that they're waiting on their distributor for the volumes, which in my head kind of contradicts the whole in stock trades thing because technically they don't have it in stock. So I'm not sure why they display some volumes and don't display other volumes. Like for example, with the Yamushi pedal, as you can see, they don't have all the volumes. It looks like they don't have volume four. So in my head, that means that they have all of them in stock except volume four, but obviously that is not the case. So in total, would I recommend in stock trades? Yes, if you are patient. I think their packaging is the best packaging that you can get from any manga store. I think that 
it is because they do ship a lot of comics and stuff, those are more fragile, so they have to be very careful with their packaging. The prices are the same as Right Stuff, you only need $50 to get free shipping. And their customer service, I guess, is kind of... I mean, I don't really blame any store, to be honest, right now because of COVID, but it's just kind of curious to me why they emailed me about one order that was so recent, but then didn't about the other ones. So let me know if you've had any experience with this store, if you've ordered from them, if you want to order from them, and I hope you all have a nice day, and bye! Thank you.